Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the Star Raiders Deluxe Class Filch figure. So in this video we're going to have a look at her in both of her modes, help you decide how you want to display her. We're going to have a look at the original owner of the mould, see how much has changed in this particular version. We'll then have a look at other versions of the mould that have been used as since and before the original use. We're going to have a look at her compared and with some of the other Star Raiders figures as well as look at the packaging and of course bringing in some other figures from other toy lines as well to have a look at how she displays so before we get started let's remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and to thank indie man toys which is where i got this from and as you can see they got it to me quickly and safely so first and foremost let's look at the packaging so because she comes packaged in robot mode we've got the lovely artwork there on the front of the alternate mode there's the amazing legacy united logo there's her name there's the artwork of the complete character and the artwork of the bust and then as you probably already noticed i've already uploaded a separate transformation tutorial anyway but you can see it takes 21 steps to transform her so this thing, again is another reason why i love this sort of toy lineup because i don't really know too much about her in complete honesty or what i've just quickly read on mtf um, wiki but she does sound very interesting and it is something that again that i do now want to uh, find out more about we've started off in the alternate mode because again this is i think perhaps the sixth or seventh to use of this particular mold so um it's not going to be super super details what i really want to do though is just show you the main differences the instructions as well come with the legacy united logo on the top of there the main difference you can tell obviously is the colors and indeed how good the wings look and what i like about the fact with this is you can take these parts of the wings off and use these as actual weapons which of course i will show you in the um robot mode section so if we have a look the face again a lovely detail look at the bright green eye which is there the beak unfortunately no it does it is it's fully art the beak is articulate you can open it it is absolutely tiny you've got to just squeeze your nail in there which is great uh the wings you've got articulation at one hinge there one hinge there one hinge there three four hinges plus this is on a swivel as well so you can completely position this anywhere you want so super articulate wings brilliant if you have a flight stand or brilliant just for posing and indeed of course uh, pictures same with the tail if you want you can lift this up uh, again you can lift it right up there this way around it doesn't look the greatest because of course you can see the robot or some more of the back but you can lift it up and press it back in whoops i've just dislocated <laughs> not there we go that's reconnected that up with regards to the legs again you could if you wanted to in fact let me show you the ones you can see straight away ankles ball and socket knee joint knee hinge rather oh, sorry that's like I don't know what to yeah I don't know what to describe it as because that of course is the ankle that's a sort of knee it's more like a shin joint that's the knee on both sides but you could also as well just slightly disconnect the tab from the side and you've now got an, another huge huge range of articulation now you don't want to take it too far out because of course it will make it look slightly odd but you can if you wanted to and you've got this waist swivel going on as well so super super articulate in so many different places so very quickly then this is kingdom air razor which was the original owner of the mold and there's a huge huge difference apart from colors um with regards to these of course we've got actual feathers i would say designed on air razor and then of course much more robotic looking wings the head sculpt is again quite different it looks a lot more robotic shall we say pretty much the rest of the stuff the underside the legs the feet etc you can tell this looks slightly different because these are the accessories but if i took the accessories out it's exactly the same it's just a different color scheme and funnily enough she doesn't come with any of these little bombs little missiles as i said she comes with the fact that you can take the side of the wings off um, and use them as an actual physical weapon so let's just move it's just one more time i think these wings yeah the wingspan of the original is just that little bit longer unless i turned these out but then does that look as good i'm not too sure let me know in the comments if you think that looks just as good let's get some more um alternate mode comparisons though some random ones first and foremost well, not some random ones the i suppose the comparison even though these are completely different looking uh this one's just because uh it's a hand so there we go we've got antagony as well and her legs on that one are all over the place as well so let's see there you go wow I forget, you forget how big this actual figure is it is huge uh i've got a war for cybertron bumblebee uh i got this is of course what road pigs alternate mode would be but i've still got in this particular mode and the other particular figure so you can see that there 
Um, I've got a G1. Oh, I'm completely knocking everything over. I've got a G1, but it's not. It's the Diaclone cab. I've got the DeLorean. And then I think a little bit more importantly, again, more figures, uh, flying figures, which will give you an idea of the size of this particular one. But to be honest, there's nothing more to say about her in this mode. Let's come back and have a look at her in the robot mode, which is how I'm going to be displaying her anyway. So here she is then in a robot mode. And again, with this particular color scheme that they're using, I think she just looks fantastic. And this is definitely the way that I'm going to be displaying her. So let's have a look at the articulation on her quickly. And she's got loads of points. So the head, which again is lovely and detailed. Look, there's the nice green eyes. You can also then spin this around all the way, completely unrestricted. She can look up and down, no issues. There is a bit of a gap behind her head, but it's not super noticeable, especially not when she's standing upright. Anyway, the wings, of course, we've pointed out one, two, three, four, five or so hinges on this. And of course you can bring these up and down and you can detach them, which I'm gonna show you in a second. You can keep them on if you wanted to. And even if they're kept on, you've still got a full range of movement in the shoulder. It'll go all the way around unrestricted. You can do the full T with the arms as well like so so again you can see whoops she fell over um but she is again just super articulate you've then got your shoulder cut bicep flexion and you've got like a wrist flexion you can't spin it at all it just bends up and down which again you can pose she's got like some abnormal i suppose sort of joints that just wouldn't work with humans i suppose you can say especially as i say with the wrist and what you're about to see in a second but it's good that then it's good that it's an option even again with all of this kibble complete waist rotation and no hindrance whatsoever no ab crunch shall we say but still you can i suppose make a look down a little bit but that is due to the transformation process that shouldn't really um you know it's not a genuine ab crunch or ab movement shall we say the legs are pretty interesting let's see these so if you want to do the side splits you can go way past completely past with regards to the front i think think you can just about get them or again maybe with some sort of strange uh hyper extension no you can you can get the splits that way you can get pretty much past it in most ways to be honest and that's with that slightly detached yeah you would have to slightly detach the back tail feathers just to get it past that if you wanted to you wouldn't need to though you've then got a swivel so you've got like it's just above the knee cut there it swivels it also bends and then this is where it gets a little bit odd because i'm used to human anatomy that's basically a shin splint or split where you've got an extra articulation there and of course the ball and socket on the foot so super duper articulate and five millimeter ports all in the right places and this is where i think let's have a look yes i suppose that's all i can do i'm going to take this off and i've just read very quickly on um, tf wiki and this is to give her a more show um accurate look again i've not seen the show i do need to see it um but to be honest wow that's that's looking really good i was as i say more than happy to keep her in a robot mode with her wings i suppose out but i've got to confess that that is something pretty special to be fair that just again i don't understand in a good way how they do this this is of course just the kingdom air razor mold they've just made it look more metallic more roboticized and then you've added these to the forearms and it just looks sensational. Are they exactly the same each side? Yes, they are. So if I put that on there, I don't think it will look as good. No, it doesn't. So yeah, they are specific, I suppose, to the side they do go on. Now you can, if you wanted to, it does say this in the instructions, but I don't think it's gonna look anywhere near as good as that. You can pop them in her hands and she can have them as a weapon, as I don't know what it would be, but to be honest, that I would say doesn't really work. But whereas this is complete, it's just stunned me, to be honest. I've not seen this. Um, and I just love the idea of it. And if this is what she looks like in the show, then that, that just changes. I'm gonna display her like this now, to be honest. I wasn't expecting something like that to make such a difference, but I'm sure you'll have to agree. It just does. And then the beauty of this is because she's still got the five millimeter port hands, you can, if you want to put any weapons in, I've still got overcharges here at the moment till I send him back. Uh, so oh, let's use his particular weapons, any five millimeter ports in there. And there you go. And especially with her color scheme like that, that tends to work pretty well, to be honest. So there you go really really good i'm also liking the fact obviously that you've got the bright eyes in both modes so we already looked at it quickly but there they are in the robot mode and of course there they are in the alternate mode and they just work that's that's really stunned me how good that looks to be honest i'm going to keep her 
like this just for now, just because what I want to do, uh, she's the last star razor that I've got round to reviewing. So, of course, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a video with them all in. I'm just going to bring a few in for this, as I say, just to see how she looks. And I think the biggest thing with this is how they've managed to get so many cool figures. Uh, again, just using retools, just using um, existing molds and just changing things ever so slightly or just colour schemes. Like with that, obviously, just the head and the colour looks fantastic. She looks amazing like that. I can't believe how good Farax turned out, to be fair. But yeah, all of these look great. Let's just bring in a few other figures just to give you some ideas, again, of scale and size. So there's a studio series. I'll just bring a few random main lines up first and foremost, uh, again, to give you an idea that's obviously windsweeper uh there's your earthrise prime uh because i've sent the commander one back unfortunately uh it's got another big prime here though there you go fractured friendships that's a ryan pax though isn't it i know loads of people will now correct me um in the comments with regards to that random g1 figures because you always sort of get an idea of what i'm reviewing with all the random figures that are lying around so there's some g1s um, I could also as well if you want to just to give you an idea with regards to some third party now I know before some people put in the comments that these don't scale together they're not supposed to but I know loads of people who collect new age and they might want to know how big this particular figure is so hopefully that'll give them an idea with regards uh, to that very quickly let's see if I can get Waspinator to stand next to her as well and I think you know what I think that's pretty much it because I don't want to bring in too many random figures um but they them three look really good together but she's great that additional bit on the forearm just topped it off for me so I want you to let me know what you think in the comments I think she looks fantastic let me know guys take care